four-legged stars of charity basketball took me up a lovely country lane near a town called Petaluma. That's just north of San Francisco. There were donkeys here, all right, even a junior varsity. The ranch is operated by the friends and family of Vicki Smithwick, donkey impresario. We have little moms and daddies, and we raise little babies. They become pets, and they're part of the family, like anybody's puppy dog. They like a lot of attention. They're hams when it comes to playing basketball and baseball. They run up and down and play basketball like anyone else. So there's two full teams, and they just, they are the stars, too. They're the biggest stars. They're the biggest hams. Yes, they are. Vicky's clients this night would be otherwise sane doctors and nurses trying to raise money for a Catholic hospital in Santa Rosa, California. Donkey basketball game um, was originally thought of about three years ago by one of our nurses for a fundraising for our nurses' educational program. And we wanted something really good to get everybody involved. And she thought, well, why not have a donkey basketball game and see if we can get the doctors to ride, which would bring everybody get them involved with us and us involved with them more on this level than doctor nurse level. Candy, can I see the strip on Mrs. Winkler? Well, I think they pick out all their frustrations all year on us, and this is their big chance. The big moment was at hand, and the nurses wanted blood. The nurses were waiting, dressed as coneheads, lions, and wicked witches for the night. A lion and a Mexican bandit shoved one of their hot shooters on her mount, with all the grace of a flu shot on her roller coaster. The doctors tried to look confident. Vicky looked proud. I looked for salvation. And the battle was joined. Right away, it was clear the nurses didn't intend playing fair. They call the costume nurses clowns. They act more like commandos. Still, the medics managed to stay in the game. The doctors even surge ahead while the clowns handle an emergency call. are apparently banking on divine intervention if the dirty tricks fail. Hey, Coach, I'm Skip Stevenson with NBC's Real People, and you guys are taking it in the air here. I think if I can win there, I can win this game. You only got a minute left. were too little and too late. The nurses won by the basket that I didn't make. You know, we let them win and then the rest of the year is terrific. Well, you notice all the clowns are nurses. Uh, yeah, yeah. The clowns are the ones who determine who wins the game. Really. The doctors could have clowns well, if they wanted they? to because they are the clowns. clowns. Yeah. <laughs> Next year. Next year we're gonna get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>